was over to crypto muscle come to you another youtube video who we are in a national now worldwide i think it is where's that crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network coming to you another video all right so uh you know the death watch series you know still continues and the reason why i've been uh, i had to restart the death watch series because um you know i started to see the bullshit coming down the pipe literally <laughs> and uh and the likes of uh echo one and uh Quopi just kind of just popped on and then um over time just other randoms just kind of came and went right came in died <laughs> kicked them to the curb and then uh we still continue to stay focused on what's in front of us here and then uh others just kind of just came and went died <laughs> kicked into the curb and we still continue forward again so uh, the most recent one that died and we kicked it to the curb was uh, Quopi <laughs> all right so that one's dead uh, and I was saying it all along about being cautious I don't think I'm gonna see my account back by August or January 31st and I don't even know who came up with that one because uh, it was funny how they were doing that so I'm like, oh you know uh, we're supposed to be back I didn't I don't even think they ever posted like the admins ever posted something about January 31st. I could be wrong, but I don't think they did that. I think just when people talk and sometimes people run with what people talk about and then people run with it and then they run with it. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it's like um, it gets lost in the sauce. And, uh, you know, it's like they, they think it's gospel now, you know, and it's like, no, <laughs> no one's ever said that. But at the same time, um, I wasn't, I was, I was very skeptical about Quopi that I, I just didn't think it was doing what they were saying they were doing, because if they did, we would have had access to our accounts, all of us literally on the day of the launch, right? Because they kept building this thing up with Quopi. I'm, I'm going back to Quopi here. And, um, with that though, um, you know, it's like, you know, how can I, you know, be believe that Quopi is going to do anything if they're not even opening it back up for everybody now, you know? They kept building this thing, oh, we're going to be back on January 4th or 3rd, whatever it was. And then, uh, oh, yeah, we're going to be back. And, oh, no, no, before you are going to be back, you just got to put in lost, you know, forget password. And and then we'll uh, get through you guys. And it's like, come on, man, you, you, you let everybody do that. I don't know why you're filtering it, that part of it, or slow that process down so much. So to me, I started to believe that they were opening a window of just kind of really letting, you know, showing a little bit of a trickle of what appeared to be in good faith, the Quopi's being back. But on the side of that, they're opening up the pods and say, hey, look guys, see what we're doing? And we're going to be back into full swing and we're good, you know. So they were focused on the new deposits. I'm surprised they only left after a couple of weeks. I thought you would drag it out at least a month before you decide to go away. But only two weeks after reopening that now you're going to go away for good. I mean, they could have played the game longer and steal more money from people. But, uh, yeah, I just wasn't convinced. I, I was, And even I was saying, go watch my Death Watch videos and uh, you'll see that. Um, I wasn't convinced that they were going to give everybody accounts back and that I think they were just using that as a way to just focus on new deposits coming in, right? With a trickle of, uh, you know, accounts here and there, you know, having people talk, saying, hey, look, guys, and the bots talking. Didn't I say that about the chat? Said, hey, they're going to have the bots talk and say, hey, look at this, guys. I'm, I'm being paid. I'm being paid and all this other stuff. And... Man, did I call that outright or what? I'm telling you, man, I've been getting, I've been in this game for a long time. All right, I'm not new. I'm not some freshman. Uh, I'm not some uh, you know, <laughs> you know, piece of shit uh, booger out there that you know noob that uh, you know I, I fall for the shit. I've seen it. You know, I think like I I've seen a lot, and I've pretty much seen it all. I mean, Quopi's doing it, done it a little bit differently. And again, the only surprising thing was um, 
I didn't, you know, they didn't keep the charades up long enough. I was, only, I was surprised they went away that quickly uh, from the return. So, but hey, at least they're gone. That's a good thing. Uh, I think it's better that they're gone so they don't steal no more people's money. All right. But it sucks because uh, people that fell for it, even though, you know, I threw out the Death Watch video saying, hey, be careful with that one because I wouldn't trust putting money in until everybody gets their accounts back. But, hey, you know, people got to learn, though. I mean, and that's how it is. Echo won. All right. So that was just kind of like closing the book on Quopey for good. All right, here's Echo One now. All right. And uh, Echo One. All I got to say with Echo One is I've already called this thing over two weeks ago. After they went through the little uh, window of bullshit, uh, I gave I, you know I gave them a little bit of a, a window too. You know, like uh, the first weekend that passed after Christmas uh, Eve. That's the last time they paid. They said, "Oh, we're gonna hold the trade till uh, January 3rd, whatever, which is the Wednesday, I think." Um, and they said, "Oh, we're gonna wait till then. That way." Uh, if we're in the middle of a trade, and then, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a better profit, is what they were saying. Okay, we'll let that pass. And then when Wednesday came, and nothing came about it, and then they announced six hours later that we're in a little bit of a trouble right now in terms of getting the, uh, you know, exchanges to okay the transactions or block, you know, whatever bullshit excuse they were coming up with. Um, I was like, uh-oh. So they said, oh, we're going to get it back up as quickly as possible. That's what they were saying, right? So after that, Wednesday came, Thursday came, Friday came of that week. I was like, all right, well, it's going to fall into the weekend now. So there's no point in trying to rush them to get it back on Friday when usually they pay out on weekends, all right? So weekends came quiet, all right? Saturday, Sunday, nothing was going on. So then came Monday. I said, like, you know what? These guys are done, all right? That was two weeks ago when I called that. I said, these guys are done. They're smoked, all right? And uh, there, there's no way they're coming back. And uh, and I've been right because two weeks later since I made that announcement, all right? Shit, next, this coming Monday after this weekend, right? This coming Monday, which would be what, the 22nd, right? 20, 21st, 22nd, yeah, 22nd. That's going to be three weeks since I called it saying these guys are done. And so you could go ahead and follow the Marcos, you know, dumbass of the world. And he's going to bullshit about, oh, I put in $30,000 of my own money and I didn't only recoup this money because he was full of shit anyway. He don't care. He, he had a fake deposit anyways. And that's why he hasn't really talked about it. He's so focused, focused on his other fake deposit, Titan 369, that he's really pushing it. You notice how when... Shit is the fan, right? He doesn't like to talk about it. But when there's a new shiny, bright, shiny object, such as 369, he's all focused on that right now that he doesn't give a shit. And that's the greediness and selfishness of his little bullshit piece of, you know, trash piece of shit that he is. Him and Don Malachy screw fuck both of them. And fuck Dora, too. You know, so screw all of them. All right, because they don't give a damn about your interest. They only care about their own self-interest. Bottom line. And so with that, people are still asking in the chats, hey, when are these guys going to be back? Anybody knows what's going on? Yeah, I already told you guys what's going on. These guys are done. I gave you guys the background story of the excuses in the chat, right? That the the CEO is fake, right? That, I mean, that was their conversation that all of a sudden Marcus finally reveals that, right? Oh, yeah, the CEO is fake. They wanted to have the CEO be the face man. and But he never really had the keys to the platform. And so, uh, for whatever reason, Marcus was able to talk to that guy of who's running the platform. But he <laughs> coincidentally gets into a car accident. And has a broken back. I mean, you can't make this shit up, right? I mean, go watch my last Death Watch video. And you can see I, I showed you guys the chat and all that. And it's just so laughable, right? It's so laughable. Just as laughable as Marcos saying that he likes to go to the gym to work out, which he did say. And then I laughed. I literally spit out my water as I was drinking water. And I heard him say 
he's going to the gym to work out. And I was like, what? <laughs> you get, do you ever see his arms, right? <laughs> they look like little twigs. And there's no way he goes to the gym to work out. And, uh, and the other, and you know what else is believable too? When uh, he was talking about, <laughs> he was trying to, I guess, sympathize with Jan because Jan was talking about how he wouldn't come, he couldn't come on because of his little belly aching that he had. He had stomach troubles and stuff, but it was full of shit because he was out there uh, styling, profiling, whining and dining in Dubai, you know, sh- showcasing new opportunities and stuff uh, at the time, you know, shilling a bullshit coin and while well, supposedly his stomach was hurting, right? And Marcos is saying that he had belching issues. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, I mean, you can't make this shit up. It's just funny as hell, right? And so, um, you know... Uh, th- this is the type of, of characters you deal with, right? These dumbass bullshit artists that you see out there, all right, that's so fucking fake, right? Just as fake as Marcus' deposit on Echo One, just as fake as Marcus' deposit on My Dana, just as fake as his deposit on 369. I don't care how you guys try to make me convinced that that deposit real. That deposit was fake, all right? Anybody go watch that video, all right, and tell me that shit was fake, all right? Uh, the way he tried to pull it off, and he's not really good at it. And then I had someone come to me and say, oh, you know, you're so hard on him. He has a good heart. Fuck that shit. He doesn't have a good heart. You kidding me? He is so selfish. He only cares about his own self-interest. So if it if it really pertains to him, okay, yeah, he'll help you out. <laughs> Because it's helping him out. That's how selfish he is. All right, piece of shit. And so uh, I could go on and on about how trash his his he is, right? Because literally, that's how he is. He's he's just a piece of shit trash that needs to be kicked to the curb too. So him and Don Mal- Don Malachi is a no good piece of shit too. Because Don, all he does is piggyback off of people all the time. And that's all he does. Piggyback after piggyback after piggyback. So fuck you too, Don. All right, you're a piece of shit too. And so, uh, and, and prove me wrong. Anybody out there can tell me. Tell me, has he ever shown anything whatsoever? No. All right, so all you got to say is, I'm right again because, hey, I, I, you know what? I, I do what I say and I say what I do all the time. All right, 100 and, 110. I give it 110, all right? And uh, those guys, psh, good luck with that shit. But yeah, Echo One's dead. Come on, people, wake up. What are you going to do? All right, you'll see this weekend, as this weekend comes and pass, there's going to be no withdrawals, no openings whatsoever. And come Monday, I'm going to laugh at you guys again. And I'm going to say, how many times I got to tell you Echo One's dead? It's beating a dead horse already, all right? But I want to keep beating this dead horse Till it's really dead. Alright, so... Um, because that's what you guys need. You guys need to get beaten with a dead horse all the time. You guys are a bunch of dumbasses out there as well. That keeps on thinking, oh, Echo One's going to come back. Because you guys take Marco's words. Oh, you know, hope and pray. Hope and pray that they'll be okay. Fuck that shit. They're done. Alright, and he don't give a shit because his deposit was fake. And so, if his deposit was real... He would be on it more. He would he would at least fill you guys in on what's going on here. But what I share with you guys, it was only within his group, right? And so if you're not part of his little group, then, you know, plus you're not privy to that sort of stuff. I mean, why won't he just talk about that stuff on YouTube, right? Where more people could actually see it. But, oh, no, wait a second, because um, he buys the views and subs, <laughs> And so that's what's happening there. And so that's why no one really watches his YouTube because if it is, it's bought, right? So that's, that's how, it's funny how that is. Um, but at the same time, it's a disservice, though, if you're not telling everybody what's going on here and only telling people within a, a mini group what's happening. But I'm privy to all this stuff. I, I, I could find out all, all the time. I always find out all this stuff all the time anyways. So, yeah. So, that's the latest on Echo One. It's dead. All right. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, let's go move on to real quick note on Lance Green. All right. So, Lance Green, 
Uh, I, the reason why I leave it like this is because you got to turn on your VPN, and then um, you know you got then you can log in with VPN because they're a private group and all that. So let me share with you guys the latest on land screen. All right, um, there's really not much to it. All right, uh, let's see. All right, so here's a corporate message. All right, oh man, this just came down the pipe literally. Uh, let's see, about 45 minutes ago from this time. Uh, this is a corporate message. Update to all leaders, great partners, or green partners. As promised, an update to keep you informed. It has been one week since the announcement regarding the temporary pause of withdrawal transactions last Friday, and thus, and this Friday, are the first payments that have not been delivered on time. Well, it wasn't delivered last week either, <laughs> right? Last week, and now this week. That's two weeks, Charles, all right? So... They're trying to make it sound like it's just only been a week. It's been two weeks since they didn't pay. Uh, Landscreen has proven the history of paying all requested withdrawals on time weekly. Oh, they did. I mean, I'll give them that for a year. Uh, we appreciate your continued patience and regard uh, and expect this uh, to regain this record. Uh, we have identified many of the users that are taking advantage of the perfect stacked binaries and who were activating orders incorrectly. This week, our goal is to inform you of all the policy enhancements that we're making to prevent this from happening in the future. Operations are continuing and our model has not been interrupted other than withdrawals these past seven days. Shit. Literally, it's been, it didn't pay out last week and it's not paying out this week. So, um, I didn't even really bother this week because you know the withdrawals weren't coming out. And the withdrawals didn't come out last week either, by the way. And I could, I, I mean, you know what? I'm going to show you guys the back office to show you guys that that pending withdrawal was from a week ago as well. Uh, our operations are continuing to function. New affiliates are joining every day and our calculations are happening in your back office. Uh, we are now understanding the significance of the issue and developing uh, corrective actions to prevent further manipulation. But due to the significant numbers of those involved, it will require more time to resolve. The good news is that we are able to identify the offenders and implement solutions. One of the solutions is a 50 fresh funds, 50% buy balance option for upgrades and renewals to stop those who are using only internal funds. Okay. Uh, our field leaders will train you how to use this feature. Another is to encourage to jo all to join L Green with one account and two qualifying spots. It is our goal to resume withdrawal soon. Well, that's how I did it. I just did one account with two qualifying spots. I did that because I had to do a left and I had to do a right on the binary in order to activate the affiliate side. That's how I had to do it. Um, and I demonstrated that in the very beginning. Uh, it is our goal to resume withdrawal soon. When we do so, withdrawals will likely be restricted by a certain percentage for a period of time until we can restore our model back to full health. Didn't I call that? That they're going to, you know, have restrictions on withdrawals if they are not dead. <laughs> Didn't I say that, right? Um, during this time, operations will continue and we encourage you to continue to wear the L Green shirt by sharing and growing the community. <sighs> I hate to say it, though. I'd say just be cautious just in case, all right? Because you just never know where they decide, you know what? We, it's not going to work out. We close up shop. I would just wait on those deposits just to make sure they get it back going in progress once again. Because I noticed in chats and stuff, people were talking about, oh, uh, you know, can we still put in our deposits? And it's like, of course, the deposit is always going to be open. <laughs> They're always going to take your money. The matter, the point of the matter is, uh, are you going to be able to gain that back? So I would actually wait until I see it back in motion, going again, before I put in the deposit. And so I got lucky that I didn't put in an upgrade on my license yet, and so. Uh, we're going to see if if that's even going to be a thing. Um, I, I would probably just let it play out once re withdrawals resume until I fully get paid out. And then if it does work out, okay, fine, I'll do an upgrade. But if not, hey, at least I know that that I didn't put in that, that upgrade um, earlier, you know, when I was going to. So uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to monitor this. And uh, go on from there. And shit, I'll even do a death watch again come Monday. 
and then you'll see I'll show you the back office of the land screen and I'll show you that uh, it's actually two weeks that they didn't pay out because a week ago and then this week that's two weeks of not paying all right and so um, I'll show you guys that on Monday and then I'll laugh at you guys again on Monday for echo one and we'll go from there comment down below links down below let me know what you think I'll see you next one